Hey, what's up, guys? It's Toast with Toasty Tabletop Games, and today I've got a Magic the Gathering uh, Streets of New Capenna Riveteer themed booster pack. And uh, I know I've made my opinion on these expressly clear in <laughs> videos past, but uh, you never know. Maybe it's slightly better for different archetypes, so I'm willing to give it another try uh, on a whim, pretty much, you know. Uh, so I guess we're gonna we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out together because if this can include, um, I don't know, cards like Professional Face Breaker or something, or Jaxus or whoever, like some like one of the good Riveteers cards, then you know maybe this this themed uh, booster pack would be worth it. But we'll see. So we're just gonna go work all the way to the back here. So we got Strangle, Prize Fight, Freelance Muscle, Ready to Rumble, Mayhem Patrol. Mr. Orfeo the Boulder, Riveteer's Outlook, Masked Bandits, Prize Fight Number Two, High Rise Sawjack, Riveteer's Charm, Racer's Ring, Riveteer's Overlook Two, Mr. Orfeo the Boulder Two, Masked Bandits Alternate Art, there's two of them, Wrecking Crew, Scuttling Butler, Riveteer's Initiates, Plasma Jockey, Crew Captain, Most Wanted, High Rise Sawjack, that's uh, two of those. Riveteer's Requisitioner, I think there's two of those now. Riveteer's Initiate, there's two of those. Wrecking Crew, two of those. Crew Captain, two of those. Riveteer's Overlook, three of those. Mass Bandits, three of those. Mr. Orfeo the Boulder, three of those. Man Patrol, two of those. Ready to Rumble, two of those. Freelance Muscle, two of those. Prize Fight, uh, three of those. Two Strangles. Agnes Dragon's Lash is a rare for this, for this entire pack. Which is actually, uh, which is actually pretty decent, pretty decent Riveteer's card. Uh, so that whole thing is kind of all about treasures. So any any time a creature with haste attacks, you create a, a tapped uh, treasure token. Which, if we look here, I think this included a handful of creatures that have haste or could give creatures haste. Let's look real quick. All right, that's got haste. That's got haste. I thought there would be more stuff that had haste. I thought I could have swore that other stuff had haste in this. All right, well. All right, so yeah. There's only the two, there's only the three cards that came with this that had haste. Uh, two of which were uncommon in the same card. <laughs> And then Agnes, right? So this is this is not a bad card. That's not a bad rare, don't get me wrong, by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, there's just nothing in this booster pack to really make that work. There's nothing to, to build a deck around that rare. Uh, you know, and that's not, that's not necessarily bad. The last one, the, the Cabaretti one, had like a completely unrelated card to the game plan, pretty much. It just served as like decent removal, which is never, that's never a bad thing, obviously. That can make a whole, that can make or break a whole deck having good removal options. But, you know, at least this, this gives you something to build a deck around, like entirely. So uh, I guess in this case, this is the, this one was better. I don't know if the rares for these things are seeded or not. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if they were. But um, you know, I, I still I still really can't recommend this. You know, like uh, these are just more like more slightly more expensive than booster packs, and you know, you're basically paying for the bulk in a very specific color. That's what it's pretty much what you're paying for with these. You're paying for bulk in a very specific color. Uh, which is good, I guess, if you're starting out, but, you know, once you, if you have, like, a bigger collection or, you know, you buy other products as opposed to this more frequently, then you probably don't need to buy these or ever even come close to needing to buy them. But, uh, yeah, so that's kind of all for this video, so thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this, and as always, be sure to follow me on my socials at Toasty Tabletop Games on TikTok, Instagram, and Twitch. Other than that, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.